<laughs> Hello. So I'm currently walking the streets in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. And it's a beautiful city, but there's one thing going on which I feel is worth sharing with you guys. Now Kathmandu is a big city. Over one million people live here. This also means there are a lot of cars, scooters and trucks driving around every day. In just 10 years the number of vehicles on the road has tripled and it keeps on growing. But a lot of traffic also means a lot of this. Smoke. And all this traffic is polluting the air, even by the ones that are here to keep you safe. The smoke makes the air dirty. This is what your face looks when you drive around here. So this is a clean, wet towel. So this is all the stuff that was on my face. Now having a dirty face is not a big deal, but when you breathe, it goes into your lungs. So this is what some people do to prevent. Hello. Um, can I have one um, air mask? Yeah, yes. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Ready. People use these things in the traffic or when they walk the streets. They are the most normal things to see around here. But truth be told, they don't work that well. The air particles are too small for those filters. So most people here simply breathe this polluted air. And next to that, it also affects the animals that live here and the food you eat. And while I'm here, it's springtime. They say winter is even worse. And this feels so weird. Fresh air seems like one of the most basic things in life. Honestly, I assumed everyone would just have it. I mean, eating healthy or doing sport is an option you can choose for. But fresh air affects everyone that lives in the city. Kids grow up here and they breathe this air, whether they like it or not. Now, we really need some fresh air ourselves, so we're going deep into the mountains. And this is when you realize how amazing the country actually is. Okay, that is besides these tiny, weird, moving, blood-taking worms. They just suck. Overall, life's a little bit simpler here. It's like you traveled in a time machine 50 years back. People here haven't got electricity, no internet, no cars. But hey, they got fresh air. <laughs> 